the Great Wall of Louisiana, the Inner Harbor Navigational Canal Lake Bourne Surge Barrier is constructed near the confluence of and across the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway, GIWW, and the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet, Mr. Go. These are located near New Orleans. The barrier runs generally north-south from a point just east of the Mishu Canal on the north bank of the GIWW and just south of the existing Bayou Bienvenue flood control structure. Navigation gates where the barrier crosses the GIWW and Bayou Bienvenue can be worked to reduce the risk of storm surge coming from Lake Bourne and or the Gulf of Mexico. Another navigation gate, the Seabrook floodgate, has been constructed in the Seabrook vicinity where the IHNC meets Lake Pontchartrain to block a storm surge from entering the IHNC from Lake Pontchartrain. The Inner Harbor Navigational Canal surge barrier was authorized by Congress in 2006. The barrier is designed to reduce the risk of storm damage to some of the region's most vulnerable areas, New Orleans East, Metro New Orleans, the Ninth Ward, and St. Bernard Parish. The project was funded by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. In April 2008, the Corps awarded a construction contract to Shaw Environmental and Infrastructure for the Lake Bourne Surge Barrier making this project the largest design-build civil works project in the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers history. It is highly unusual for a civil works project to be designed and constructed simultaneously. The expedited process was necessary, however, given the com compressed time frame for achieving the 100-year level of risk reduction in 2011. In December of 2008, the Army Corps of Engineers held a groundbreaking ceremony to mark the start of test pile driving. Construction of the barrier's flood wall began on the 9th of May, 2009, and on October 21, 2009, just a few months later, the last of 1,271 main piles was driven. On 29th of August, 2012, the seventh anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, the barrier was used for the first time to protect the city from Hurricane Isaac. By June 2013, all major construction had been completed. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers accomplished this project via the design-build delivery method. The main barrier consists of 1,271 concrete piles, each 66 inches across and 144 feet long, weighing 96 tons each. Behind those concrete piles, steel piles are driven at an angle of two horizontal to three vertical. The steel piles are 288 feet long and are installed in two sections, with the lower 158 section driven and the upper 130 foot section fitted on top, welded in place, and continued to be driven to final TD. A precast concrete pile cap is placed on top of the steel battered piles and concrete plumb lines piles to join them. Two gates were constructed in the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway Navigation Channel. This video shows the first. This gate is closed with two sector gates leaves, two sector gate leaves. The second gate, with a barred swing gate, is comparable to a caisson. In the Bayou Bienvenue Navigation Channel, a third vertical lift gate was installed for use with recreational craft 
and shrimpers. There is a link in the comments, in my comments, to a video that shows the construction of this wall. It, if you're interested in the wall, it's well worth your time to watch this, this video. It's incredible how they put this wall together.